Oh, hell a bit. It's your boy, Big Bid B, and we back for another edition of Big Bid Business. Today, we are back with another fragrance review from my house that has been taking all my money, and that is none other than the house of Killian. Let's talk about this juice. Today we're discussing apple brandy. Now this presentation of apple brandy comes with the car fret. And if you've seen one Killian bottle, then you've seen them all. Apple brandy is a masterful fragrant interpretation of apple liqueur and rum. This one develops into a smoky, woody heart, reminiscent to the wood barrels that cognac ages and matures in. In the dry down, this one transitions into a sweet, boozy syrup, which is rich in vanilla and labdanum. This is one of the most authentic blends of a brandy accord. To my nose, this one smells like a freshly opened bottle of brandy or if I just spilled the drink on myself. Now this one gets compared to single malt a lot, but in my opinion, this one separates itself from the crowd. I mean, it's not much of a crowd, it's only two. Uh, I guess that's a couple. The longevity and projection on this one are good. I think this one takes about an hour to fully dry down, but once it does, it becomes a masterpiece. Now, despite how I feel about this fragrance, I'm not sure that you're gonna get a ton of compliments when you wear this. I tend to be very selective when I'm wearing apple brandy. I never wear it in a professional setting because people might think you had a long night out or a cocktail or three at lunch. I think this one is becoming more difficult to find. Now from my understanding, this one isn't available everywhere Killian products are sold because this was a boutique exclusive. Now I purchased the last bottle at the Saks in Boca Town Center. Um, they said they only had it because Killian himself was there a, a day or two earlier signing autographs. I wish I was there, man. Why y'all ain't call me and tell me he was there? So I could tell him that I need him to make me my own goddamn fragrance. I thought that I was looking for an autograph. <laughs> Now, every time I review a Killian product, you guys ask me why don't I crush the box? Well, let me explain to you. You have different levels of Killian. You have the refillable, which is not this one. This is $195. I pay an extra $100 to have this box. It's not a box, it's a carfet. And therefore, I'm not crushing it. Plus, it's like fucking acrylic and wood and satin, and it's dope. And then you have the level above this for you ballers out there. Um, you got the 22 ounce. Now this is a 1.7 ounce. The 22 ounce is uh, $4,500. It comes in that crystal joint. So if anybody wants to buy that for me, any uh, Killian fragrance in the 22 ounce, then um, you know, just hit me up and I'll send you my shipping address. <laughs> now again, I wouldn't wear this one in a professional setting, but Actually, I think you can get away with this. I think that a woman would like this. Now, this is a unisex fragrance, but I would not want my woman to smell like this. I would want to smell like this so she can come up on me and get drunk off my scent. On a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give this one a solid nine. A nine out of 10, it's a solid fragrance. I don't think you can wear it all the time, but when you can wear it, God damn it, wear it. I'm your boy, Big Big B. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend that we back again. If you like rocking with your boy, pour you a nice cup of apple brandy and hit the goddamn bell.